we had the same situation in South Africa in the early 90s. Right off the White Chalk was protected. We had a guy down in Strace Bay called Trail Witten, and he was connected to the Oceanographic Research in, um, Institute in Durban. And they were using him, he's a sports fisherman, he took people out to hunt white sharks, and they were using him to tag the sharks for them. So he would go out, take paying customers out there, hook a white shark, bring it in, and tag it. And this was immediately after the white shark became protected in this country. So it was a joke. It was, it was making a mockery of, you know, of what we had actually accomplished in this country. So our organization, the, the South African Museum Shark Center, was trying to stop this. You know, so we were going to the media, we were using any means we could to actually expose what was going down in Strace Bay, trying to stop it, and they were obviously fighting the other way, trying to promote this as a method to, to successfully capture and tag white sharks. And in this entire scenario, um, they decided to get a, a film company involved to actually come and document this, to, sh to prove us wrong. And a good friend of mine, Peter Lamberti, he came down and he filmed... Um, he filmed our method of tagging the sharks, and then he filmed Charlie Whitten and the Oceanographic Research in Institute's method of tagging the sharks. And on camera, the shark that they pulled in that day died next to the boat. The shark was pumping blood from the gills, just as we said it would. There was blood streaming out of his anus, and that animal was completely distressed. It was a very horrible thing to actually watch. And you see that shark rolling next to the side of the boat, blood pouring from his gills, from his anus, and then the guy still went and tagged it. Didn't even get the hook out. I'm, this wasn't a big hook. It was just a hook like that, a small hook. Cut the cable and the shark just drifted out to the bottom you know, and was gone. Dead. And was he declaring that the shark looked good as it left? Oh, yeah. This, this trail Whitten guy, he was saying, oh, the shark's in perfect condition. And, oh, what a good shark. And it was all high five and macho, macho. But the shark died next to the boat. It bled to death next to the boat. And that was it. I mean, it was shocking. It was on TV, you know. And then uh, another actuality program went out and actually filmed this as well called Carte Blanche. And it was a similar sort of thing. You could see the sharks struggling and fighting. And then they, they filmed us out there just popping tags in and having a good old time. And the sharks with the tag in continued to, continuously swimming on the boat. And that proved that the hook method didn't work. It proved that to the country that it was detrimental to the sharks. And then... I think Ori, Ori took cognizance of that, and they realized that actually it's, it's not working with white sharks, and then they stopped. Did you guys try to show Osearch uh, successful methods of capturing the shark that you already knew? Yeah, look, I've spoken to, I've emailed Osearch, and I've actually spoken to them, and I've spoken to Peter Klimney as well. He's open to it. And we, you know, we developed a, a method to, to capture white sharks without hooks and just get them to the boat. There's no injury. They obviously stress the animal. And then they could do the work with it. Um, so we've offered this this um, this method to them, but they're not interested. They they haven't come back to us on it at all. 